In this video, I wanted to show you an example of something that's not frequently seen, at least not to this degree and this correlation. So let's start by looking at the KUB. We have a patient already received oral contrast, and this is what's allowing us to do this comparison. But look at how you can uh, tell there's oral contrast here in the descending colon, and there's all this that represents uh, wall thickening of the colon. So you can see there's some narrowing, and you can uh, see here that there's this density here, and that's going to represent a wall thickening. So let's confirm that, and let me show you how thickened this descending colon is. And you can see how that uh, was showing on the KUB on that patient. So sometimes, you know, even without contrast, we might be able to see uh, the same opacity. And obviously, most of the time, we're going to have the KUB before we even have a study with contrast, like in this case, this CT, which shows uh, diffuse thickening of the colonic wall okay so I'll go back and show you how this is projecting here uh, so you can see how both sides are uh, thickened and let's look at a quick axial projection to confirm what we're seeing on the on the other projections and on the other views so that's exactly uh, what we can expect when we have a wall thickening of the colon even if we don't in the absence of uh, contrast like we saw.